Hi and welcome to this video on introduction to machine learning. At the end of this video, you will be able to explain the need for machine learning and its use cases, describe different machine learning tasks and differentiate between two machine learning and unsupervised learning. Let's now understand the need for machine learning. As an email service provider, you would want to give a better service to its customers by helping filter out spam messages. This is to enhance the user experience. To achieve this, we would primarily write a program to check each email from some specific email IDs which historically sends spam messages. Also scan for some keywords in the email body to check whether it is spam or not. Here we would be scanning for some keywords in the email body like lottery, win, million dollars etc and classify the emails accordingly. To achieve this task we would need to look at the historical data for the last many years along with its spam tag. Human written computer program would read these historical data and generate a set of rules. These rules are primarily a series of if else logic to conclude if an email is spam or not. These rules are then fed into a program to decide whether an incoming email is spam or not. Is this approach foolproof? It is not always easy to manually obtain a list of email IDs to be blacklisted or gather keywords to be searched because this approach is tedious to implement and is prone to errors. Alternatively, instead of a human written computer program to solve this problem, we can have an algorithm which would automatically read the historical data and generate a series of rules. Isn't it smart? Yes, this is what machine learning does. Now let's formally define what is machine learning. Machine learning is a subfield of computer science that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Machine learning consists of historical data, algorithms and statistical model to extract the rules and programs which feed in the historical data to the algorithm. Now let's understand the applications of machine learning. Automated cars, calculating the forthcoming traffic sign to control motion accordingly, helping banks making credit decisions, companies to choose their best marketing channels, Enhancing the online customer experience by filtering out spam messages, recommending articles based on customer reading preferences, etc. Machine learning tasks can be broadly classified as supervised and unsupervised learning. Regression and classification are common machine learning tasks under supervised learning. Clustering and recommendation engines are common machine learning tasks under unsupervised learning. Now let's look at the common machine learning tasks. Regression is a machine learning task for predicting the value of the continuous numerical variable based on how a variable is related to some other variables. An example of regression would be an online retail store like Amazon or Flipkart which can predict how much money can a customer spend based on his or her purchase history and user interaction on their mobile apps. On the other hand, classification is predicting the class of a given data point which is categorical in nature. Example for classification involves a bank predicting whether a customer will pay his due or not based on the customer's credit history. Another example of classification is controlling a self-driving car while determining the speed limit by following traffic signs. Here the picture of the traffic sign is observed to classify it to take the appropriate decision. 
and both regression and classification involves making predictions which fall under the category of supervised learning. Moving on to the next set of machine learning tasks, clustering involves finding similar patterns in the given data set. For example, grouping segments of customers who are similar on certain sets of attributes like demography, buying behavior, etc. helps business understand the customer behavior patterns. Recommendation engine suggests services, products and information to users. For example, an online retail store like Amazon or Flipkart recommends a narrowed selection of items to enhance a better user experience. Both clustering and recommendation engines are common machine learning tasks under unsupervised learning. To summarize, regression and classification are two techniques of supervised learning. While regression predicts the value of a continuous numerical value, classification task predicts the class of a categorical column. Regression task uses the historical data about customer demographics of gender, income and age to build an algorithm to predict the amount spent by the customer in a retail store. The algorithm will learn to predict amount spent of a new customer with the available information about their gender, age and income. Let's now understand classification task in more detail. Classification task can be used to help a bank use the historical customer data of gender, income and age to train an algorithm to classify its customers as valuable or not. Here, we are helping the bank in future to predict if a customer will be valuable or not given his demographic data such as gender, income and age. These are the two examples of classification and regression tasks under supervised learning. In both tasks, the training phase contains a column that is required to be predicted. And this is called supervised learning where an algorithm is trained in such a way that the column to be predicted by the algorithm is present in the training data. Now, let's understand unsupervised learning in detail. Clustering and recommendation engines are two popular unsupervised learning techniques. While clustering discovers hidden groups in data and recommendation engines discovers rules that suggest services, products and information to users. Clustering is finding interesting patterns in the data to take business actions based on these patterns. Let's look at a sample data set of various mobile stores across the country where we have captured the percentage of mobile sale and the profit. If we closely observe the data, there are three categories of stores. First, the stores with low profit and low percentage of mobile sales. Second, stores with high percentage of mobile sales and the profit is moderate, that is neither high nor low. And the third category is about the stores with high profit and low percentage of mobile sales. These clusters gives us an idea of what kind of mobiles are usually sold at each store and the spending limits of every customer. These clusters can be pictorially represented as shown. Every data point within a cluster will exhibit similarity than the ones in the different cluster. Let us now understand about recommendation engines. Recommendation engines are used to infer rules that suggest services, products and information to users. Let's look at the customer behavior with respect to product offerings. In this data set, customer C1 prefers to buy item 1 and 2 and not items 3 and 4. 
customers C3 and C4 have not bought some items and their preferences are unknown. If we closely observe the data set, C1 and C3 are similar in terms of product preferences. Hence, we can recommend item 2 to customer 3 with an assumption that customer 3 is most likely to like the item 2 because C1 liked and purchased item 2. Similarly, C2 and C4 have similar product preferences. We can recommend item 3 to customer C4. Here, customer C4 is most likely to like item 3 since customer C2 liked item 3. In this video, you learned Machine learning is a subfield of computer science that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Regression, classification, clustering and recommendation engines are common machine learning tasks. Clustering is finding similar data points in a data set and recommendation engine suggests services, products and information to users. Regression predicts the value of a continuous numerical value and classification predicts the class of a categorical column. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next video.